I think it has been a very tough process, especially looking at a couple of girls that have been uh, performing in the, in the current season. Between uh, the selectors and myself, we've been working hard and we look at the best possible squad we can pick for the conditions we face with. I think so far we got a spot on and for, it's just for us now to go finish our preparation and make sure we're ready for Bangladesh. It's been absolutely amazing. We, have a, we had a very good and successful uh, past season. Uh, we come back of back-to-back -back wins against Sri Lanka and Bangladesh at the end of last year and then we recently got back from Doha, Qatar. We won six out of our nine games. So I think that is also in difficult conditions and it was very good preparation for what we're going to encounter in the subcontinent in Bangladesh. So I do think we, we're definitely ready and we're really looking forward to, to what the World Cup brings. It was good preparation. It gave us an indication where we are with some of our players, especially where we had question marks. And then uh, it helps us also to be able to make this process as smooth as we can, especially with the last 14 that we took, we're taking now to the World Cup. So we appreciated that and we know that now going to the World Cup is going to be interesting for us and it's going to be a tough process moving forward. Yes, obviously it's not ideal. We'd have liked to almost play a lot of games before you go into it, but, but that is what we got dealt with. So unfortunately, that's that's how it is. We have, we luckily have another camp at the end of the, at the, at the month, so hopefully they will just make sure we'll also play a little bit against each other and hopefully against some guys that we can just see where we are at and, and work on our combinations. But I do think um, we are ready and we're definitely going to do our best and, and try and get into the semis this time around. It has been always a challenge, especially for our side, because of uh, the chopping and changing of the players could never settle into a role. So we decided we're going to pick a squad of players and a group of players and back them and see how they go and then the results uh, speak for themselves for the past season and what we've achieved so far. I mean, we have won uh, uh, five out of six trophies that were possible. I think what that speaks volumes that we have act we are on the right path and we can achieve what we want, uh, what we can work on and put our minds to it. So we think that going to Bangladesh, we, we have a fairly good chance to be able to go and compete for the... I think it makes me very proud. It's, it's, it's nice to see that hard work does pay off and at the end um, there is a reward and, and, and it's nice to know that, that people People are, are taking notice of us and, and unfortunately people only back a winning team so at least now with, with our past wins we are getting some more people um, aware of women's cricket and, and that's a very good positive thing for me as a captain. It is exciting and it is, at the same time we know that it's going to require a lot of hard work because we as a team we're only growing as a team and we're developing we've got a, a fairly young squad that can just got a long way to go provided it's kept together so we're excited about the challenge the idea but we're not going to get ahead of ourselves we know that every, every single match for us is going to be like a world cup final so we'll have to approach it that way